if you are a new channel, okay, if sometimes you are aware, sometimes you actually not、uh, aware that you already a new channel. What I'm saying is, so many people are asking about channeling. Okay, the truth is, everybody can channel. Uh, it just depends on where you at. We're gonna decide what energy gonna you're gonna channel, and when you sometime unaware or unconscious channeling, those are the message comes through almost like yours, because you only can channel. If you don't raise your vibration, you only can channel where your energy at. And I think a lot of people they want to learn channel is they want to learn where they at. They want channel the messages here, and they don't think they are channeling when they are here. Okay, but what I want to tell you guys is first of all you are channeling all the time, but how to from channel here to channel the information here. Now first one I need to clarify when you are here depends on like I said if you are at more of. Uh, you have more self love. Do a lot of the healing work on yourself. Then your message come through will be more lighter. But if you are not doing this work and、uh, you are going so many things in your life, that's the message you coming through when you're going through the dense energy. Okay. Now, how to from here to here? You need to raise your vibration. Okay. And your channel. It's not like when I open that channel, you always stay on that channel. It's just like this radio station, right? Sometimes you from they say ninety point five to ninety five point five. When you are steady, when stable, not bouncing around, you almost can get the, another channel very clear. But let's say when you're driving, moving places, you will lose that channel. And as you're physically channeling is the same thing. You need to ground yourself. And you need to. I would always, when you start channeling, you usually will start with meditation to ground yourself, to make sure your right, your right, your rise, raise your vibration from here to here. So the message you're gonna channel it will different from also from here to here. Okay. And also to be honest, let me tell you one thing: you cannot just flip the switch. If your main energy is here, you are dealing with a lot of lower three chakra energy. You are doing a lot of healing work. Yes, you still can channel the message here, but you will not. Your body will not sustainable to channel the message here. Okay, because if you want to、uh, channel more of this energy, you need to stay, have longer time stay here. But if you say your human body are going through through so many dense energy, and、uh, you only in a day maybe ten minutes you are this high, so you only can stay there for ten minutes, and after ten minutes you might gonna bounce back to where you at. So be better channel to share high dimensional being and other energy. You need to working on yourself from within to. Raise your vibration. Raise your vibration. When your vibration raises, you don't even need to go consciously channeling because you're channeling all the time. But if you want to be conscious channel, you do want to defer the energy. Is the game that you are doing? Okay, be aware of your own energy,、uh, and also as new channel, there are so many things you need to be aware. Okay, I have some clients really. Recently,、uh, most of my clients that I'm working with that they are actually. Unconsciously, that they already channeling, they already connect with with a lot of energies that they not just not aware. They saw their that's their own energy, and what happens is that when you don't have discernment. Now that's another. Somebody asked me about the discernment. Okay, so if you don't discern what is yours, what is not yours, and you think what come out from external is yours, which means you. Keep processing. It's almost like I, for example, you. We have mail come to our house, right? And you only will go through. You only want to open the mail that you know is important. That's actually meaningful message and something important, a letter, whatever thing. But if you are open every mail, you know it's a scam. Okay, you know sometime I back home two days, I got like seven, eight, nine, ten mails, and if I open all of them. I need to if I open all of them and processing all of them, my life probably gonna be chaos because some are not true, some are a set. People want you to jump into that trap to get you right. So not all the mail come to your mailbox require you this、uh, same attention. 
and the same as the energy you channel as well not all the energy you channel is for your highest grace good some of the, the energy you channel through you is actually is also like a scam like a trap which means they're going to drain you they're going to be under this uh, uh ongoing tape this uh broken record is on the cycle okay and because and you're going to ask me do you know why i would why would i want to get into the scam why would i want to dealing with this uh, ongoing repeatedly playing um for the messages you know yes the th but the thing is you think that's so easy to discern but don't you also see in the world that there are so many people following this like messaging you know they get your uh, information or people got uh, hooked by those you know false emails they steal your identity uh, they might took money from bank account. You're like stupid. That's stupid. That's never gonna happen to you. It, the the thing is, for the people get hooked, they didn't know. And a lot of time, when you doing channeling work, you don't know what you don't know. When you know it, sometimes it's too late. Is that true? The same thing. Do you think those people who got you know their money taken away from the bank through the scam? Do you think they want to get their money? token away no they don't want to and uh, you know you ask them how why are you so stupid you do that and then they will tell you like i never know that's a thing i didn't know and the channeling is the same thing sometimes you did not know okay so be aware especially the new channel when you just open the channel which means you're telling the universe your channel is open which means you tell other people your front door is open so if you are living in a house that has front door open and people are probably gonna curious gonna pop in right and let's say the house is cozy and warm and some homeless guy or some people who need a housing thought is a place to open for them they might gonna stay in your house and when you come home and you you just you just knowing that so many people are there and you're wondering why all everybody come to your house is because you didn't lock your front door or you have your back door open right so the discernment come into the uh spiritual world to the channeling is you need to differentiate which is yours which is not yours and how you need to go within you didn't need to know what you are and what you are not so when the message come in which is not what you want you know that's not yours so you can transmute it or you can uh, just go through the important mails instead of the scam or potentially scam right you don't want to risk that uh, or you need to close your door so people are not come into your door at night time or when you leave for work okay uh, what else let me think And the second thing or third thing, I don't even know which one is that now, uh, for the channeling is at the beginning of your channeling, uh, if you want to be more consciously aware what you're channeling is create a ceremonial space. And it doesn't need to be crazy ceremonial place. Let's say you meditate the first 10 minutes, you light a candle, light incense, burn some sage and palo santo, uh, kind of like um, make sure you drink enough water, close your eyes, meditate for 10, 15 minutes, and you need to have a i always say you need an invitation okay you need to send an invitation out to call in specific energy you want let's say you know when you're ready you're gonna call in okay i command i want to connect with archangel michael's energy allow archangel's energy channel through me and uh, um I'm just a channel. I want to deliver the message for my highest grace good and for everyone's highest great. And that's the command. That's you are intentionally calling this energy. And I would also suggest when you start channeling, do not change the energy so much. Let's say today you you want channel Archangel Michael. Tomorrow, uh, Mother Mary. The next day, Jesus. What whatever. You do not change that much as a beginning, because you want to differentiate. Uh, their specific energy why sometimes i know i'm channel archangel Mac michael is because i already done many times i familiar his energy so when i close my eyes ask questions okay this is archangel michael this is saint germain this is whoever who but at the beginning you gotta go connect with one guide or one main energy at a time and that allow you to when you anchor with archangel michael's energy then you're like okay let me channel quiet ings and you can analyze you can consciously analyze what's the difference is energy so allow you you are training yourself and um 
it's the last one I, because I don't want to make the um the video so long. Is there's no higher low, lower. Uh, you don't don't feel that you are uh, lower or weaker than the spirits. We just live on the different dimension. So you don't you need to set the boundary with the spirits. You need to train them. Okay. So what that mean is you not gonna let them pop in when you shower when you eating breakfast or you are in the middle of the meeting or you know nighttime when you need a rest you know you need to set the boundary let's say cultivate the time you know special moments let's say if morning time is your time you want to connect with spirit you know then you you connect them with morning time and if the rest of the day they usually very good with boundaries but you need that you are the person supposed to set the boundary if you don't set a boundary they're going to come through anytime they want because there's no time and space in the spirit world okay world uh, so you got to based on your own routine you know what you prefer you can tell them or you need to make a in your mind it's like okay I, the only time i want to connect is when i say this command right that's why the command is very important this is the activation you activate that energy to connect okay otherwise they are wandering around you know they you need to do your own thing you need to enjoy your human life so if you want to be in service you know it's okay but you cannot be 24 hours in service 24 7. your body is not going to hold it um you're gonna lose your mind okay um so anything else i think that's what what we what all we want to say today and uh, if you're interested if you have any question about uh, channeling uh, connect with spirits new new channel set a boundary have discernment feel free to ask questions so how that works is like uh, my channel is like when I usually sometimes I wait information come in, you know, something I read, something like that. Sometimes showers, a message will download to me. But it works very well is when people ask questions so I can go in to download the information to support other people. So uh, feel free to reach out in the sensory healing dot com or in the sensory healing at gmail dot com. OK. Um, I wish you guys have a great weekend and uh, see you guys soon.